Airplane always dumps you out in Bangkok, Thailand. And you have like the three hour layover where you stand, and many of you have done this, right? You stand in the Bangkok, Thailand airport, and you stand very still, and the air is moist in about 103, and you don't want to move for fear of sweating in clothes you're going to be living in for the next 16 hours. So be very still, think cool and placid thoughts. Because the last thing you want to do is get that one initial drop of sweat to drop behind your clothes because it'll be the, the, the shower of sweat. And you can always feel that first little drop of butt sweat cond you know, it's condensing right above the crack of your ass. And you can feel the tingling as it clings to all the little moisture particles are clinging to the little butt hairs over your ass crack. And you're like, no, please, please. And then you hear, boit. And you're like, oh, here we go. <laughs> You know, Amazonian rainstorm down the crack of your ass. And so anyway, you can do that, or you can grab a cab, go into Bangkok, get yourself a cheap hotel, and kick it in Bangkok, which is incredibly polluted, funky, cheap, and very friendly. And also, it's a sex town. And so we have all kinds of weirdos who go there to get it on with 13-year-old girls. And, uh, you know, me, I'm not a pedophile. No interest there, just to reassure you. And so... I went, into, I went into Bangkok, took the cab in, get my hotel room, and I go back out onto the streets of like one in the morning Bangkok, which is like 102 degrees, total tropical funk, and I'm walking towards this convenience store I always go to to get the bottle of mineral water. 30 cab drivers are across the street. They see a lone Caucasian man walking. They think I have only one mission in mind, have sex with a 13-year-old girl. They all come running at me. Get in my cab, get in my cab! I mean, th these guys are all pimps on wheels because they all work for different Thai love houses. And if they get you into the one they sponsor, they get six liters of gasoline. So they really want to get you into their cab and get you to their Thai love house. So these men come running up to you with laminated cards of photos of little naked girls. It's like a menu for sex. It is really bizarre. And they're like, look! And I'm like, wow, I really don't want to look at 13-year-old naked chicks. It doesn't do a thing for me. Call me strange. And I go, no, thank you. I need mineral water. And I keep on walking, and they just think that I haven't heard them. No, 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 you don't understand. We get you fucking and massage. You come with me. I go, I, I understand. You want me to go with you? I go to the title love house, I get it on with an 11 year old girl. Right! No thank you, I want mineral water. <laughs> Have a nice night, here's your laminated menu back. Do, 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 do. And I keep on going towards the convenience store and they all look at me like, fuck, what's his problem? I don't know. And so I, I get my mineral water, I come out, see fellas, I wasn't kidding. <laughs> see, these guys have no idea who they're fucking with. They are fucking with a lean, mean, tattooed, rated G Boy Scout, which is what I am. I don't want to go pay for sex. I don't want to have sex with a child. I, I want the mineral water. And so I'm sitting outside the hotel doing something really lame, just sitting alone, looking into the foggy, murky night with my bottle of mineral water, sweating more than I'm sweating now. Because everything you do just makes you sweat in this place. So I'm sitting there sweat and drink in the water, having a great time. Cab driver comes over to me, goes, you know something? You crazy. I go, I know. <laughs> so I'm told. He goes, he goes, you better come over and hang out with us. I said, fucking A. You got it, buddy. So I went over there and I hung out with the cab drivers. And they, they all have this table and all these chairs. They, they give me a chair. I sit down. They put a, a glass in front of me. They throw in three or four ice cubes. And they pour in like three fingers of whiskey. Like, whoa, 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 no, no thanks, I don't drink. I go, are you guys drinking whiskey? They're like, yeah. And I look at them, they're all fucked up. They're like, you don't want any? I'm like, no, I'm, uh, no, no thanks. And then one by one, they all get up and inter introduce themselves. My name is Big Tiger. Ah! He nearly falls over backwards. This is the guy who wanted to drive me. Another guy gets up, I am King Mafia. Ah, uh, and they're all fucked up. I go, you guys are all drunk. They're like, yeah. You're cab drivers. Yeah. You're going to drive around drunk? Yeah. <laughs> Good night. And I, I went back to my hotel. So the next morning, I come bounding outside, ready to go. And I'm assaulted by cab drivers. And this time, I actually do want a cab. And they come running up. You want cab? I went, yes, I do. And they're like... No, you come with me. No, you come with me. And they're showing me the laminated pages of naked chicks. I'm like, no, thank you. And I go with this one guy who was standing next to me. And we get in the cab. And he goes, okay, so we take you for massage. And then we take you for fucking. I went, no, sir. I want to go to the zoo. 
And we're driving down this little street, and he's like, mm, no sex club called Zoo. I go, no, 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 I want to go to the Bangkok Zoo. Animals! And I showed him my camera. I have a camera! I want to take photos of animals! <laughs> and and he, the look on his face, he's like... <sighs> but then he gets all pumped up again, and the three-ring binder of naked chicks sails into the back seat. I'm like, I throw it right back. I go, no, 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 I just want to see the tapers and the crocodiles. And you know, he's like, okay, and then he regroups. Okay, okay, we go to zoo, then we get massage, we go to Thai Love House, make you big happy. I went, nope, you, you want to make me big happy? Take me to see the crocodiles. It's like, okay, and he's all bummed out. Sure you no want to see Thai Love Girl? No, I don't want to see any of them. Okay, maybe you change mind. Never. <laughs> okay, we get to the zoo. He's now so bummed out that he's not gonna get to take me to the Thai Love House. He's sitting outside, sitting on the, on the hood of his car. You go ahead, I wait for you here. <laughs> I go, oh, what's the matter? I wanna go Thai Love House. <laughs> I don't wanna go zoo, zoo, stupid, just a bunch of animals. And so I went back up to the gate, and for like a dollar and ten cents, I bought him another ticket. I said, come on, I got you a ticket for the zoo, come on. I don't want to go in the zoo. I go, oh, cheer up, Bunky. Come on, let's go see the zoo. I'll show you the animals. Like, well, okay. <laughs> and I took him through a tour of the zoo. It was so much fun. I got him to cheer up. And I did this whole photo session where I made him stand next to all these animals. And I took all these photos of him. It's this digital camera. You get like nine million shots per little disc of information. So I have him like standing next to these fucking huge animals. I go, okay. He's just like, I go, oh, come on, put some life into it. At least point to the animal. And so he started like, you know, like. And by like the 15th shot, he got all into it. You know, like. And he's, he's all pumped up about it. Then I get him into the reptile house. And I go, okay, you see that? That's Ophiophagus hannah. That means king of the snake-eating snakes. This is a king cobra. One bite of it can kill an elephant. Isn't that fucking cool? And to me, it, it really is. And I'm so amazed that I get to take a photo of a real big Ophiophagus hannah. My heart is leaping up and down. My nipples are erect, and he's <laughs> bored to death. And I said, come on, put some life into it. I have this photo of this guy next to these, these two king cobras who are on the, in their little cage, and they're like, uh, and there he is, like, <laughs> me and Ophiophagus Hannah. And so we took them all through the zoo, and we visited the primates, and I have all these wonderful photos of this guy who's thoroughly pissed off that we're not going to the Thai Love House to get our dicks washed. So 